Biking to work generates more than a feeling of physical satisfaction and independence. It's a daily reminder of the passion I feel for my country and the ideals for which it stands. I bike about seven miles from Arlington, Virginia to Washington, D.C. And I never tire of the memorials, monuments, museums, and art galleries along my route. I'm emotionally attached to the Iwo Jima Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, and the Capitol Building. Much of our history is reflected by these symbols of our nation. Based on the classic photograph of the event, the Iwo Jima statue captures the details and spirit of the moment in 1945 when the American flag was raised on Mount Siribachi. The statue takes on a bold appearance in the morning light in contrast to the softness of the shadows cast by the falling sun on my way back home. No matter when I see it, I think of the 5,000 Marines who needlessly died only months before the end of the war. I edge past the granite grave markers at Arlington National Cemetery forming straight lines and standing at attention, as if in respect for the dead. Crossing the Potomac River, I see columns surrounding the building as if it were a mausoleum. I picture Lincoln, 19 feet tall, seated on a throne. I admire the artist's vision in depicting one side of his face as intense, demonstrating his tenacity to unite this country, even at the sacrifice of 600,000 dead. The other side is relaxed, reflecting the compassion he felt for all humanity. The Korean War Memorial means a lot to me personally. When I served in the United States Army during the Korean War, I knew little about the country and had never met a Korean. More Americans were killed annually during the Korean War than in the Vietnam War. As a surgical technician, I treated many of those wounded in battle. I dwell on the words carved in stone, freedom is not free. As I approach the end of my commute, I come into full view of the Capitol. The first line of our Constitution reads, We the People. Our Founding Fathers had foresight to structure a representative, democratic government. Although not without fault, we continually strive to correct the injustices and express the will of the people. I cross Constitution Avenue and leave my bike in the Department of Labor's underground garage. I freshen up change my clothes, and go to work. After eight hours, parked at my desk, I find myself back on my bike once again, my heart filled with pride as I pass the monuments on my return trip. <laughs>